Hey guys, it's Mitch with iApple Tech, and today I'll be going over the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012. Now this is part 4 of the ongoing series, and it is consisting of basically March's city tweaks. So let's get into it. The first city tweak is called Disable Launch, and it is the ability to disable icons for being launched on your device. Once downloaded in city, go ahead and enable it and choose your activation method. Then you want to go ahead and type in a password. For this example, we'll be using 1234. Then, if you see here, as I try to open up the different applications on my device here, they will get dark, but they will not actually open up because they are being disabled as of right now. If I go ahead and choose my activation method here, a little window will pop up, and here I can go ahead and type in my password and click confirm, and now the icons are enabled, and I'm able to go ahead and open them up. I'm also able to disable them from people um, going into my device here. So if I go ahead and activate again and type in my password, my icons are disabled. The next city of tweak is called App Slider, and this tweak allows you to have two different icons on your device's lock screen when you do slide to unlock your device. Once downloaded in Cydia, go ahead and enable it, and here you can choose your two different apps, either from your system apps or your user apps that you do download off the App Store. We'll be using the clock and the app store as our two apps and then go ahead and apply the changes. On our lock screen here you can see I have the two icons on either side of the slide to unlock and the slide to unlock does get a little bit smaller but you can still go ahead and slide to unlock your device there. If you go ahead you can choose both the applications and they will launch right from the start. If you do have a password your privacy is still protected and you will have to still type in your password. So this is app slider. The next city tweak is called Action Slider, and this tweak is a notification center tweak that embeds a slider right into the center, and you are able to have different actions depending on where the slider is located here. So if I move it to the left or the right, they will depend on the different actions that I have configured in the settings of Action Slider. If I go ahead and open up the settings, you can see I have the most right, the right middle, the left middle, and the most left. And on the right, I have options including the kill background, close app, show the switcher, and activate Siri. So if I go ahead and slide it all the way to the left here, you can see that Siri does pop up as a little short notificator there. If I go ahead and slide it to the left middle, you can see that my switcher does pop up, and I am able to open up the different apps in a quick and easy way there. If I go ahead and move it to the right middle, it will go back to my home screen by closing out the application that I am in. And if I go ahead and switch it to the most right, it will kill all the uh, background applications in my device. You are able to whitelist different applications such as Cydia, which keeps them in the app slider on the, your bottom dock there. The next city of tweak is called Badge Remover, and it basically allows you to remove all the badges for the different apps. This can include the messages, the phone, the mail, and the city. So you can see here I do have the red circle numbers, which can kind of crowd your springboard on your device here. So if you go ahead and download Badge Remover from Cydia, it is a free city of tweak, you'll see that the little badges are removed for those certain types of applications, including your messages. Uh, see people who have uh, phone called you, your different emails, and city updates. You can see in the phone, we still do have the recent, so you can see who has called you or has left a voicemail on your device. So this is badge remover. The next city tweak is called Notificator, and it gives you system event notification sounds and banner options. So once downloaded in city, go to enable it, and then go to your new events, and here you can see we can have sounds and banner with a uh, toggle of the 3G of the edge, different applications, power options, sync events, Wi-Fi events, just a whole different type of events including sh screenshots as well here. So if I go and I want to, let's say, let's go to the power events here, I go ahead and enable the power on and I want to have a sound so when I go ahead and plug in my power you'll hear this and this does play the default beep with the tweet sound that I did select. If I want to go ahead and don't play the default beep and just hear the Twitter sound, I can go ahead and choose that option. So this can be configured to all the different type of events 
on your device. You can also have the banner power off. So if I go ahead here and I can select the sound, we'll do the bell. Then when I go ahead and dis select the power, you will hear that sound. This can also be working for the airplane mode. So when I go ahead and toggle that on, the banner notification will pop up and say that my airplane mode is on and it will play the sound. This also goes for when I do turn it off. Uh, banner option. You can see that when I did turn it off, it did display the notification at the top and the sound. Up next is a city tweak called Plugication. Once downloaded in City, go ahead and enable it. And this will allow you to continue playing your music when you do uh, remove your headphones from your device and you go ahead and plug them back in. So go ahead and plug your headphones into your device and start playing a sound. Your sound will be played through the headphones. Then when you go ahead and remove the headphones from your device, the sound will pause like normally. But now with Plugication, when you go ahead and plug your headphones back into the jack, it will automatically start playing the song where you left off. You can see on my device here, the sound did jump up and was automatically played and I did not have to actually press the play button. So this is a great city tweak for those music lovers out there. Our next city tweak is called Call Activator, and this has many different types of options for calling people, visiting different types of websites, sending out mail messages, or uh, sending out text messages, all from an activation method that can be configured in settings. So if I go ahead and swipe up, you can see that I can choose to up to three different people to call. I can either call Mitch, Stephen, or Emil here and that was because I did swipe up on my device. If I go ahead and click cancel and I swipe to the left, which is my second activation method, I can send a SMS to three different people there. If I go ahead and swipe to the right, which is a second activation method, I can choose up to three different people as well if I want to go ahead and send an email. And my last activation method is the ability to launch three different websites that I did configure in settings. The settings for call activator, just are the people who I want to call here. You type out their name and then you type in their phone number. The next three things is the SMS. Uh, just like the call, you want to type in their name and their phone number. Then for the email address, go ahead and type in their name again. And then here you want to type in their email address. Make sure you do include the at symbol. And then the last is the name of the site along with the URL of the site. The next city tweak is called App Switch. Now this allows us to have up to four different type of apps in our switcher and these apps are permanent and will not be removed if you go ahead and kill all your background apps. So you can see here I have all the apps that I've recently been in, but if I swipe to the left here you can see I have the four permanent apps including Cydia, Safari, Messages, and the App Store here. Now if I go ahead and kill all my different apps, you can see I have no apps there. But those four different type of apps are still there thanks to App Switch. The app settings for App Switch consist of selecting the four different type of apps and then you just go ahead and you can see them in your switcher. Our next city tweak is called Deck. Now this is a sidebar action for our springboard and can be customized to have many different type of actions including toggling your Wi-Fi, your brightness, and opening different apps. So go ahead and activate using an activation method here. You can see I have different icons displaying different actions on the right of my screen of my device here. If I go ahead and type the phone here, this will bring up the device options where I can respring, reboot, power down, or lock. The next one is the Siri, which allows me to bring up Siri. I have the option to open up the camera on my device here in a quick and easy way. The next is the at symbol, which allows me to compose a message, a mail, or a tweet here. I am also able to uh, have a favorites where I can have different type of actions including Google searching, uh, turning on the brightness of my backlight, or having different apps that I can easily open up. I also have more options including the Wi-Fi, the airplane, location services, Bluetooth, sounds, and toggling on and off my 3G here. The settings for deck include the custom actions 
you can have up to six different types of custom actions for your favorites and here you're also able to uh, turn on and off the different actions for deck so if I want to go ahead here and launch an application I can go ahead and enable that in the settings so guys this is our last city tweak is called attacher now this is the ability to open up any different type of file extension in our iMessages on our device here in the settings for attacher go ahead and enable it then if I go ahead and open up my messages here you can see I did send over a city tweak now this is in a .deb file and I am able to open it up in iFile I did send this over via messages which is in the new Mountain Lion OS X 10.8 and I can go ahead and open up with iFile and then install it to my device. So this is Attacher. So this was the top 10 best city tweaks for the year 2012 part 4. If I did go fast in any of the tweaks, all the links for the individual tweaks will be down below in the description. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks guys.